we're gonna be reviewing the smooth one let's go What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. Here we talk about anything and everything wheelchair related. Today we're gonna be testing out this new product that I just got my hands on. It's called the Smooth One. I know I told you guys last video, we were gonna be testing this out this video. Well, here it is, you guys. Recently, I've been having a lot of shoulder problems. So I needed a little bit of help, and that's where the Smooth One comes into play. So you guys, this is the device right here. We will be talking about price at the end of this video. This product right here weighs around like 10 pounds, and it goes on the back of your wheelchair frame. There's a bracket on the back right here, and this hooks onto it also. There's a little remote right here. Check out the remote. And that thing pops right off right there. So I have the remote and this remote right here allows this to go. So once I press it, it goes. And also, we got this cool app. Let me show you. Come here. Come here. Let me show you this app right here. They have an app. Okay. And there it goes right there. So but the battery level on my remote right here, look, it's at 46%. The battery ain't the greatest. All right. But the battery life on the actual unit, you guys, it actually is very good. And also there are four different modes on here. You got eco, you got tour, you got sport, which I keep on sport all the time. And you got my, my is more of a personal type feature so i'm guessing the device learns with you as you go and it you know functions as is like that so compared to how you actually use it ego is more of like a i would say where you're trying to be conservative on the energy where you want to have the battery life last the longest um ego is cool but it ain't fast like that <laughs> it, it look, 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 look it is fast but i like to go fast so i keep it in sport most of the time also if you see this right here, there's a backlight on it. You see the backlight? It's red right now. You can also turn this off. So, ooh, I just turned it off. So I try to keep it off. I feel like the backlight uh, puts more attention on to you than what you probably want. As a wheelchair user, you already have a lot of attention on you. So just imagine it being this big old red light on the back, which is like a big brake light that stays on. Uh, so I tend to go ahead and turn it off. Um, but at nighttime, if you're traveling at night, I would definitely say keep it on. Um, just a safety feature, I would say. Uh, just uh, if you're traveling, traveling at night in your wheelchair out on the road or something like that on the sidewalks, I would definitely just, just suggest to keep it on. So right now, I'm about to connect it to my wheelchair and we're about to use it. But before we do that, I'm gonna show you guys how to actually use the unit. So this is it right here. This is the remote. The remote goes on to the bracket that's on to the side of my wheelchair so we had to put this one on and we also had to put the one in the back on so you put it on there right now and it has a quick release at the bottom there's a little button right there if you can see and then all you do is press it and it should pop right out so you do it i haven't i haven't had any problems with that and what you do is you pretty much just turn the knob you turn the knob to go forward and then if you want to stop really fast you just tap it like that. When putting the device on, you might need a little help. I got long arms and I still need the help, but most of the time I do put it on there by myself. But I normally use a mirror and I kind of like try to get like that. But even then, I still have a little bit of trouble. So I have the device on a wheelchair and we're getting ready to go, but we're not quite there yet. So let me show you guys a couple more things on the actual app. So when it comes to the app, you can use the app to go ahead and track your time. You can track your distance, you can track your speed, and then you can also track the max speed that you had the device at. Um, this is the cockpit, so this pretty much tells you everything, your battery life on both the remote and onto the unit, the speed at which you're traveling at, again, the four modes and the backlight. So me, I'm gonna turn the backlight off. And also you guys, they have this feature right here, which I'm not too much of a fan of. It says not available, it says you have not bought it. So let's go to the article so we can go ahead and see it. So look, let me say this with you. So we haven't talked about price yet, but for the price that you pay for this unit right here, I do not think that they should have 
pretty much in-app features that you have to pay for. This in-app feature is $24.99 and this is the auto speed and they also have another one for performance which is $32.99. I feel like if you pay the amount of money that you pay for this device right here, these two features should have came with it. Okay, so that's the only thing that I can say I don't like as of right now is pretty much that you have to pay for these features on the app. I feel like that they should have just kind of came with it, um, especially for the price point that you're paying for this device. You can run Dianoxus, but I don't have any errors on here. So pretty much if you have a problem with your device, I'm pretty sure it probably sends like a message to the actual phone and it'll tell you how to fix it, like a troubleshooting type. Um, different settings. So you can actually control like the speed. So, okay, so say you wanna go faster in eco mode. You can crank that up to like a 10. Right now we got it on five. Uh, torn, you can, cr you can crank that up as well. Sport is more oh 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 so i ain't even had it at the max we're gonna have it <clears throat> to the max okay so look i just put it in the max in sport mode you kind of want to be careful because i use this thing around the house a lot so you don't want to be in sport mode around the house going 10 kilometers an hour all right it's, it's kind of fast all right so this right here is how you kind of uh you can set your own speeds inside the app so also the drive modes you can set your drive modes in the app you can um increase the torque on the actual device as well. Let's go ahead and increase that too. All right, you gotta be a little, okay, acceleration. So look, you guys, you can, so I do like how you can get very technical with the details on the actual app. So look, there's a soft acceleration right here, but we like to go a little fast. So, you know, you guys wanna see what this thing can really do. So, okay, we got that. Um, control unit, let me see. Let me go ahead and back that up. Let's see what else is on here. So the actual unit, Um, this is the different modes as well. Also, um, we put on the installation side, so left or right. I got it on the left, but I am right-handed, so I want you guys to know that. Um, uh, let me see. Okay, so this is just more different stuff that has to deal with that. Um, the performance. So it says not available yet. Okay, so that still has to deal with me buying the, this stuff right there. So I mentioned before I didn't like that. Um, other. So we have uh charging status on the led so okay so if you want the lights on while it's charging i, I do have it on um if you want you can take it off a uh, standby to where it turns off um th that's a, on around like 15 minutes um which isn't bad because sometimes i do forget to turn off the actual unit so it'll just turn off itself and switching off is at like 90 minutes so so these are all the things that the app offered the app is a good feature again i just wish that the different stuff that they had that you got to pay for i wish that kind of came with it for the price point that this thing actual actually cost so now it's time to use the unit but i got to be careful because remember i did change some features on the actual device and i'm going to be showing you guys how to actually use this thing right now so let's go ahead and do it so i got it on there right now i got all my settings set on the actual phone so now it's time to use the device so i want you guys to come here right quick come here look so this is how you actually use the unit so right here let me go ahead and turn it off so you guys can see so look let me show you how you turn it on and then turn it off so you press it and hold it to turn the remote off right there so that's turned off so and if you see this is this on or off babe? is it on or off is it on or off it's on green so okay so that means that it's on so you press it and hold it for two seconds and then now it's off okay so both of the devices are off right now all right so right now i'm gonna show you something so if you press and hold and turn on it the blue means that it's searching for this all right so as it's searching right now it's not gonna find it because it's off so it's, it's flickering red okay so that lets you know that it did not connect to the device so now we're gonna turn on the device right now press and hold it for two seconds and you should hear the beep perfect now we're gonna press and hold for two seconds it's searching it's searching and it's light up green it lit up green all right perfect so now we're ready nope we're not ready yet because why where's this blinking light come from so look now i gotta explain this blinking light so it's blinking because the wheel on the back of my wheelchair isn't aligned straight so babe can you come around the back and look at the actual wheel so the wheel on the device isn't straight so whenever i go to go turn the knob to go forward it's not going to go because it doesn't allow you to take off when the wheel is at the wrong angle it has to be straight in order for you to actually take off so when you straighten it up this is going to light up and all the bars should light up but again remember you guys the remote is damn near dead so 
if the light is if the if the wheel is actually straight all of these bars are going to lit up or pretty much half of them are going to be lit up because this is dying so now this lets me know that the wheel in the back is straight and it's ready to accelerate so i'm going to just do it one time because i need to see how the acceleration is now that i have changed the actual modes and the speed so we're going to take off a little bit so let's see so i did it one time let's do it again okay you want to be careful because this thing is powerful. All right. So, let's crank it up a little bit. Let's go. Ooh. Right now, I got it in sport. All right. I got the acceleration all the way turned up. all the way off and make sure it's touching the ground it's touching the ground and we're gonna take off y'all ready so gotta control it get it up attention and I'm gonna track how fast I'm going while I'm actually doing this because remember it gets all the way up to 10 kilometers an hour which I don't even know how much that is in the actual miles per hour. So let's see. Yeah, just, and I'm gonna turn the light on. It's on. Also I'm gonna show you guys how long it takes to stop. So let's see. I'm gonna get it all the way cranked up. Ready? When using this device, please, please always pay attention to your surroundings. Always, I would definitely suggest not using it in sport mode inside the house. And also, you guys, when it comes to transfers, be careful. Make sure you turn off the remote because you don't accidentally want to move this forward while you're doing the transfer. And then all of a sudden, your wheelchair is over there and you're over here or you're on the ground somewhere. So definitely be careful when it comes to using this device because it is definitely very powerful. So right now, we're going to test it on this hill. I don't like to go up the hill directly just straight on I like to go at an angle so that's what we're gonna do right now we're gonna use this device to go up the hill at an angle So let me show you one more time. <laughs> Got it on. It's on. Let's go. Let's go a little faster. Got that torque going. It goes. It goes up. Very good, dog. Okay, so it's off right there. You see me turn it off. And now we're going to test it out for the last portion in the grass. Okay, you guys, so now we're in the backyard and we're about to test the Smooth One device on some grass. So we're seeing how it works outside. We're seeing how it works on the pavement. And now we're about to see, oh, we also see how it works on hills. And now we're about to see how it works on the grass. So, let me see if we can get a little head start. Okay, the wheel's not straight. Okay, it's straight. So let's go. Let's see. It helps. Okay. Ain't the best. Okay. 
Turn around right there. Turn around right there because it's um, too soft. So it might like. I mean, I, to, to be, you guys, it's there to assist you. So I would definitely say when it comes to the grass, you definitely want to help the device. But I would have to, I would have to give it. It's not bad, you guys. It is not bad. So when it comes to the grass, it obviously is not the best surface. So you're not gonna have the most traction, but I would definitely have to say you guys, it is a good, it's very good for the grass. It's not gonna be the best. Now if it had like a better tires, I'm pretty sure it'll work better. But uh, this is how it'd be for me pushing myself. Let me show you. Cause you exert a lot. Yeah, exert a lot. Yeah, but again, it's not the best, but it's there to assist you, it's there to help you. So it does what it's supposed to do, you guys. So all in all, the last thing that we need to mention is the price, all right? So for the unit itself, the Smooth One unit with the remote and all the little attachments and everything, this unit costs around $7,000. And that, you guys, is where I would have to say is the deal breaker. Right there. I believe $7,000 is a little bit too pricey for a device like this. $7,000, you guys, is a lot to spend on a product and then to have to pay for in-app features. I just feel like uh, it kind of rubs me the wrong way. But all in all, I would have to say that the device is amazing. This device right here, you guys, if you could get your hands on one, um, I, look, I definitely recommend it. Um, there's nothing bad that I can really say about the device. Look, <laughs> the only bad thing that I can really say is that it might be a little too powerful, but sometimes you want to kind of get up and go. Sometimes you want to go fast. All right, I understand. I want to go fast sometimes as well, but you want to be careful when it comes to using this device because this device is very powerful. But again, you guys, this is a, an amazing device. I just hate to say that the price point is just a little bit excessive. So let me know down there in the comment section below if you guys have any questions or you want to know anything about this device. Let me know down there in the comment section below. Again, we talk about anything and everything wheelchair accessible. We go places to find out are they wheelchair accessible or not. We review amazing devices like this one right here and we also touch on hot topics such as the ones that we just uploaded. So let me know down there in the comment section below what you guys want to see next. We have some amazing and things planned we going to some amazing places and we also going to be reviewing some amazing devices in the future so hopefully you guys enjoyed this and if you did you know what to do like the video subscribe to the channel peace you guys